Hey, stop it. Turn. Got the third brake light. Got the new, and we got a new grill. underway going to drop off some wheels which i'll show you when we get there and uh let's go so most of you guys know the ranger i have was my grandpa's but who was really close to me had very sentimental uh he passed that truck down to me when he passed on it had a uh, 3.0 liter v6 in it and it blew up because he was a hard head thermostat stuck and instead of stopping to put the thermostat in it he said send it and he just kept going so <laughs> check in the prices on the 3.0 and you know everybody knows those are just junky motors that you can put a new motor in it and it might go out in a not even 50,000 miles so I needed something that was gonna last guys I did weigh my options I did try to do a 5.0 swap in it coyote swap was completely out of the question due to the price and how much it was going to cost to get it to fit and do all that. It's just a lot of work. So uh, I did what I don't personally like doing, but to me, it's just a sentimental truck that I wanted back on the road. So my buddy Nikki said, hey, I got a 6.0 LS motor. I'll throw it in there for you. We'll put a cam in it and headers and a bunch of other stuff. And very, very affordable. Not much more than what the stock 3.0 would have cost just for the short block. So uh it is getting 6.0 LS swapped. I know there'll be haters out there. There'll be people think it's cool. It is what it is. To me, it ain't about the brand. It was about getting my grandpa's truck back on the road. And uh, I'm a Ford guy. Don't get me wrong. I do like the LS platform too. And I'm not big on crossbreed. And I do have a Coyote and a Fox body. So if you're new to the channel, I have a Coyote swap Fox body. I have a old school 30306 small block Ford and a Fox body. And I have a 750 wheel horsepower Gen 2 Coyote Supercharged F-150 single cap. So, uh, let's get this thing going. I'm ready to document this and show the build. It's going to be fun because you just really don't see that many cool Ford effing Rangers. But, uh, by God, we're going to build a pretty, pretty sweet one because it's my tribute to him. And he was all about miles per gallon, and I'm all about miles per gallon. So, I'm sure he's looking down on me saying, son. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? This is gonna be fun. Like I said, it's sentimental. Please don't hate on the build. It's just to get my grandpa that I that meant the world to me and get his truck back on the road. So uh, let's hit the shop. Let's get these, show y'all these wheels. And uh, also the black wheels that I originally had for the Cobra are going back home. We're gonna try to put them on the Fox body. So uh, let's make this trip. And here we are, y'all. Off-road performance center. All right, guys, so we made it out here, and there is what we're here for. Let's go check out the Ranger. You can see the body on this thing. So that's kind of an idea what it'll look like. We're going to bring them inside, keep them nice and safe. we got tail lights for it and a grill and headlights and all this other stuff. So uh, let's bring these in and get the Cobra wheels. So here's a look at everything we've got for the Ranger. We got the brand new headlights to go in it got the third brake light 
Got the new tail lights. And we got a new grill. Here's the transmission. Here's the converter. It's brand new. And here's the motor. Hey, stop it, turn. Don't hit the gas. Yeah. We're gonna get her fired. Six oh round two. First start. So follow us with this build. This is going to be a fun build. Like I said, we're starting it Monday. And uh, it's going to be a fun build. So like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Push 931.